Hey my friends, today's blog is about the B Curd Rav Vast 2 10 note. And this is a scale that I've really fallen in love with. If you like the Celtic or you like the feel of the D major, this is like a combination of both of those. So we're going to look at the notes on it, I'm going to give you a sound example, and we'll talk a little bit about what makes this particular scale very special. So let's take a look. You'll notice that to fit in the extra note, Rav has turned the tongues on their sides, so they fit well into this area. And the turning of the tongues in general also allows for the Rav to have a little less interaction between the notes. Uh, so they've resolved the half-step interaction on this. So these two notes sound great together, and with the other notes are very clear, very crisp, and also on the bottom. This, this note and this note are a half step apart. But because of how they're turns, there's no interaction. a sound sample to start off with. Here's an example played a little bit slower. For me, what's really important about this scale is it's a great scale for chordal playing and it's also great for both fast and slow players. Uh, I'm someone who likes to build a chordal structure, kind of like a guitar, and then play melodies and arpeggios off of that. Um, but if you're someone who likes to wander around on it and kind of play it in a sound healing sort of way and completely improv, this is a great rav as well because you have lots of options and there's very little distance. There are half steps in it. Um, but the way the tongues are turned, they don't interact negatively with each other at all. So this is great for all levels of player, 
and it's probably one of the better ones to improvise and write songs on. Now, what is it that makes it different than the B curtain? And it's really just an extra half step. So everything is shifted up one note. The second note in the scale, not the bottom note, this is a note that's different than the B curtain. And because of this, you're able to add a little bit more dynamics to your playing. Um, you can still play anything that you've taught yourself on the B Celtic. You can absolutely play on the B curtain. Um, they're very similar, but everything is just moved up one note. So once you relearn the songs that you know on the B Celtic, this is no problem. And for me, this is a really, really useful scale because you have a lot of dyads and triads available. So if you're a songwriter or if you play with other musicians, you have a lot more options for note combinations that sound good with popular songs and just with general chord progressions. I highly recommend this scale. Uh, this one might be one that I will bring with me when I'm traveling, uh, if I can only bring one. And this can be found on the ravvast.com website. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope everyone's well, and look forward to some interviews with fellow players in the near future and some new tutorials as well. So stay well, and I'll talk to you soon.